Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to create this nice hand sway system. So when we rotate our wheel, you can see our hand is rotating also, and it will make the game look more alive. So yeah, let's get started. First, we want to go to the BB player character. Let's open it. Then we want to go to the event graph to where we have the IA look. Okay, then let's actually move this event tick away from here, for example, to here. And what we want to do here now is we want to first get the x value and we want to promote it to a variable after this. And let's add a reroute to around here, I think. Yes, and also let's promote this y value to a variable. And let's also add a reroute maybe to here, I think. And uh, let's select this and press Q to align. Okay, now let's rename this action value X variable. Let's call it X look. And this new var, which is the Y value, let's call it Y look. Okay. And then what we want to do, we want to compile and save, and we can actually close this PP player character. And then we want to go to the animations and we want to open the ABB player. And what we want to do here, we can actually close these other things. Go to the event graph. And first, we actually want to get those new variables. So let's actually get them here. So let's get the X look and let's move it to here and let's also let's add a reroute to here and actually I will make this preview instance to no debug object selected like that and so I will add a reroute to here and also let's get the y look and move it to here and also let's add a reroute like this now let's promote this x look to a variable. Also this y look to a variable. And we don't have to rename them or anything like that. They are already named correctly. And what I want to do next is I actually want to create a new category. So let's first get the pitch rotation because this is on the same category as this at least will be now. Let's create a category called look input. And let's select the X look and let's also put it on the same category, look input. Y look, let's put it on the look input like that. And what we want to do next, let's actually duplicate maybe this Y look. So it's already on the same category. Let's call these and X rotation and let's duplicate it once more and let's call it hand Y rotation like that. Now let's compile and save all just to be sure. And now what we want to do, we want to actually create a new function and this will be called hand wait. Okay. And here on the hands way, what we want to do, we want to leave some space here and we want to get the hand X rotation and we want to set it here like this. Now we want to get from this and we want to clamp float like this. And what we want to do next is we want to get from the way you and we want to F interp to and actually we will have to move this even further like that let's get this to here 
And now, to the current, what we want to do, we want to get the and x rotation. Uh, let's actually align it all, like that. And to the target, we want to get the x look. Okay, so we are trying to interrupt from this variable to the x look, which is our input basically. Okay, and to the delta time, we want to just get world delta seconds. And to the interrupt speed, we want to promote it also to a variable. And that will be called um, hand sway speed. And we want to put it also on the look input category. And let's compile, let's save, and let's set this hand sway speed to like uh, 5, I think. Yeah, 5 is good. Okay. Now, here, where we clamp this value, we don't want the hand to like turn that much. So, what we want to do, we can actually get from this max and we can promote also this to a variable. So let's rename this variable to hand sway limit. Now let's compile so we can set the default. Let's set it to like 10 and you can play with this later on if you want. And now we want to get from this and we want to multiply. And what we want to multiply it with is minus 1 so we can connect it to the minimum value. Okay, let's add a reroute here. Let's select this and press Q to align. Like this. And what we want to do next, we can actually copy all this code, come here, and paste it. And now what we want to change here will be a few things. First, we want to change this hand X rotation to the hand Y rotation. Let's connect it to the current and this X look to the Y look. Like that. And here, hands way limit, it will be like that. And here we want to set this to be the hand Y rotation. Like that. And now, actually, let's align this. Like that. So, um, Let's compile and save. So we have the X look input, which will be the target. And this same thing will work here. We just changed the variables. But yeah, this is basically the same thing. So I will just explain this. And we have this hand rotation, which will be this interpret value, which we have clamped and promoted a variable. So it will try to get from this basically the current value to the target, which is the input. And it will try to go there with the speed of our hand sway speed. Okay, and this will just make, so if we have 10 set here, so the minimum value will be minus 10 and the positive, uh, sorry, the maximum value will be positive 10. So yeah, now compile, save, and now we have to go to the event graph and here where we have the character rotation we want to also get the hand sway set it here okay uh, sorry call it here compile and save and now we have to go to the anim graph and here after all these spine code we want to come after it here let's move this even further and we want to add a, a little transform node here so transform bone let's put it here let's actually move it even closer like that and what we want to modify here will be the hand r bone which is here then we want to change our rotation.
rotation to add to existing and rotation space to bone space like that we can also cut these pins from here the translation and also the scale because we don't need those now to the let's actually split this we want to connect the x and x rotation to the x rotation here like that simple as that now also we want to get the hand y rotation and we want to connect it to the y okay and set can be zero because we don't need it at least for now now we can get from the alpha and we want to get a select node it doesn't matter which one but let's get the only the select now we want to get the flashlight in use so we can see if you're using it let's actually move it closer here and if we are using the flashlight we want to set it to one so it will play fully now when we compile save and go to play we should see that the hands way is working you see it's working pretty nicely and also what you can do is you can change actually we have want to put this hands hand sway limit to the same category also to the look input yeah now if you change the limit for example to 50 and the speed to like 20 you can see the hand will uh, rotate faster and also the limit will be bigger as you can see like this i don't think this looks that good anymore but yeah you can do whatever you want with that but i will make them back like and sway speed five and limit i will make it uh 10. but yeah compile and save all it is lagging a lot but yeah now you can see our hand is rotating pretty nicely i think we should put some little more light to the level so uh, skylight and details let's change it to like two maybe three and i think it will be a little bit better now so we can see yeah you can see the sway is working pretty nicely so yeah i actually think that was all for this video if you like what you saw please click the like button and subscribe for more and yeah hope you have a great day and see you in the next one bye